What is going on, car collectors? It's Ken with Ken's Cardboard coming at you with a video in my basement in Colorado. Hope you guys are having a great day. And it's a video, it seems to be a video response weekend here. I'm making another video response. This one is for a new subscriber to my channel. Uh, his name is Steve Speaks. Steve has a new channel that he's just now reached 400 subscribers and moving fast. Um, wow, he's, I think he just started a few months ago. But he puts out a lot of great content about, you know, where, who, you, what cards you should collect, you know, kind of the market trends on some cards and uh, some of his collection, like Ken Griffey Jr. It's pretty awesome. Check out his channel if you haven't checked out Steve Speaks. But he, I'm doing this video response here. He's asked for uh, five of my favorite cards, which is pretty tough. Uh, I have lots of favorite cards, but I managed to find a few. I got like one from some of the players I PC. Um, I don't PC them, some of them greatly, but just some of the players I really like. Uh, let's start off with the former Rocky. Now he is a Cardinal, which I'm not too happy about, but he's still a great player. This awesome autographed card from Topps Tribute. These are beautiful cards. Don't know why they have to be thick. But they're not super thick. 75-point uh, card. This one's at a 110. And, you know, autograph. Nice card design that has placement for the autograph, which is cool. So, love that one with the blue ink. Nolan Arenado. Tops Tribute. One of my favorite cards in my collection. This one sits on my shelf, so obviously one of my favorite cards. I have so I have lots of cards on my shelf that you see here pretty much every video. But when I was a kid, this is the card that I wanted the most. And I think I picked it up in around late 80s, like probably 87, 88. It's a little off center here, left to right. Top to bottom, I think a little bit too. Um, but still a decent copy the corners are a little dinged up but i want it saved a lot of money to, to get this card from the card shop we had been eyeballing it for a while so it's one of my favorite cards of pete rose the rookie cup not too much of a fan of his rookie card and it's really super expensive for some reason don't know why but there you go pete rose is on back on the shelf where he belongs Another guy that started picking up cards last year before they went super skyrocketed. I didn't know that cards were going to skyrocket, but I ended up picking up this 2008 Bowman Chrome Clayton Kershaw P PSA 10 rookie card. It's not autographed. That's a fac facsimile autograph. Looks like, looks kind of real, but it's not. But Kershaw is an awesome pitcher. Seen him pitch a few times. One time I was sitting in Dodger Stadium right along the bullpen when he was warming up during the game. I also met him at Chipotle last year, 2020, before the pandemic kind of rose when I was down in spring training. That was pretty cool. He was hanging out with his son. They were just going to Uber Target to pick up some stuff after they went to uh, Chipotle for lunch. And my next favorite card is a card that I picked up this year that I've been wanting a Jackie Robinson card for a long time. And this is a very good, excellent four. The corners are a little dinged up. It's pretty good, pretty well in the centering. A little scuff mark on the surface there, but overall great card. Really ecstatic to have this card in my collection. I'm start, I'm my, that's my next card I'm looking for is an, another Jackie Robinson card, whether it's a 55 or the 54, but looking for that. This is just a beautiful vintage card. He's my, he's just a great icon, not only in sports, but as a human being. And more people should be like Jackie. Put that back on the shelf over there on the right. And the last card I PC is a guy named Todd Helton. Some of you guys may know him. Played for the Rockies for 14 years. And not 14 years, 17 years for number 17. But 
I always wanted a card, a booklet card. And so last year I finally picked one up. This one's numbered out of three, three of three. It's pretty easy to get one of one, one of three or three of three. So, but this is the cool. This is the Ben and Helton plus two other little patches, which I don't know what those are for, but the end's really cool. And then you got the sticker autograph on there, but awesome. This is from Triple Threads. One of the nicest products. You got the rainbow border, refractor or foil borders, which is nice. Fits in a, fits nice in a holder. 2019. Congratulations. Pick this up for I think close to $300. I think it was under $300, $250 or something like that. Can't remember exactly, but it's just one of the coolest looking cards that I have in my collection. So there you have it, Steve. Those are the top my top favorite cards that I picked. I sure I have lots more that I like. I'm gonna break the rules and pick another one. Here is another card I picked up. This is a one of one from Topps Archive Series 2017, Mr. Mike Trout autograph. That's a pretty cool card to have in the collection, yeah. Mr. Trout. So yeah, that's one of my favorites. It's on my shelf over here. There you go, everybody. Some nice looking baseball cards. Go check out Steve Speaks. Check out his channel. 400 subscribers, heading to 500, probably in a couple weeks. But uh, take care, everybody. Peace out. Be safe. And, you know, love your neighbor.